the care pupils so for today we are going to learn and uh, using our textbook and also our workbook so mr naim i had just been vaccinated today uh, and it feels quite um, stiff on my arms but never mind and for your information too um, this week is going to be my last week with you because Alhamdulillah, I have been transferred to Pahang and I hope to see you soon. So, let's start. So, you need your textbook to open page 56 and your workbook to open page 45. So, the first activity is to read all of these with me. So, let's start. The first one is Omelette. Second is Peace. The third is pancake. The fourth is pineapple. The next one is peppers. And the last one is coconut. So if you want to repeat, you may rewind the video and keep repeating until you understand. So let's read the story. Number one. Mm, I love my omelette. There's some cheese in my omelette. Is there any cheese in your omelette, Greg? No, there isn't. There are some peppers in my omelette too. Are there any peppers in your omelette, Greg? No, there aren't. There isn't any cheese and there aren't any peppers in my omelette. But there are some peas, onions, and pineapple. Yuck! And for desserts, coconut pancakes. Yummy! So as you can uh, see, we have read this before and we will spell it together. Number one, omelette. O-M-E-L-E-T-T-E. -T -T -E. Omelette. The second one is pancake. P A N C A K E. Pancake. The third one is peas. The fourth one is pineapple. The next one is peppers. And the last one is coconut. So look and write activity number two. So this is workbook page 45 same as this so is there any cheese in Anna's omelette yes there is are there any onions in Anna's omelette no there aren't is there any coconut so this is a singular because no s in Anna's omelette so the answer is no there isn't so last one are there any peppers in Anna's omelette Yes, they are. Number five, are there any onions in Greg's omelette? Yes, they are. Are there any peppers in Greg's omelette? Peppers? No, they aren't. Is there any pineapple in Greg's omelette? Yes, there is. And lastly, is there any peas in Greg's omelette? Yes, they are. So, Thus, it's simple to read the given story based on my guidance and to complete the given task in the workbook. So lastly, just don't forget to fill in the given Google form. So that's all for our session today. Thank you and Assalamualaikum.